All right, what we have here is a square, and inside that square, we have a diagonal cutting the square in half, and nested in this angle right here, we have an expression 6x minus 45 degrees, and down here, it says that this angle is 2x plus 15 degrees, and we have to use this information to determine the value of x. Now, right off the top of my head, I can think of three different ways that we can use to determine the value of x, and here's one of them. What we should know about a square is that each interior angle is exactly 90 degrees. So if we were to cut that square in half across this diagonal, we are taking this 90 degree angle here and cutting it into two identical angles. So this would be a 45 degree angle and this would be a 45 degree angle as would it be up here. This right here is a 45 degree angle and this is a 45 degree angle. So what we could do is we could just set this expression equal to 45. And we could set that expression equal to 45. However, we really should get the same answer for x, whether it be here or there. So let's go ahead and set that up and just see what we end up getting. So let's take 6x minus 45 and set that equal to 45. And do the same thing with this expression down here. We're going to take 2x plus 15 equals 45. Alright, so let's take this constant and move it to the other side. We're going to add 45 to this side and that gives us 90 and that leaves us with 6x over here and then we have to divide both sides by 6 and that ends up giving us x equals 15. All right, so let's see if we get 15 with this equation here. Well, we could just solve for it to isolate for x, or we could just plug 15 into x and see if this is a true statement. So if we were to do 2 times 15 and then add another 15, we could take this 2 times 15, which is 30, and add that to 15 and see that it does indeed have a total of 45. So we have verified that x is equal to 15. Now I stated that I can think of three different ways that we can use to solve for x. So let's go ahead and do a second strategy. Now something that we should notice about this figure here is that when we take a square and we divide it in half along a diagonal, two isosceles triangles are created. Now an isosceles triangle has two angles that have identical angle measures. And we know that this one is 90 degrees which means these have to be 45 degrees. Now that means that this angle right here is equal to this angle right here. So if this angle is 6x minus 45, then this angle right here is 6x minus 45. Now that means that this angle here and this angle here together equal 90 degrees, which means we can take this expression and add it to this expression and set it equal to 90 degrees. So we can take 6x minus 45 and add that to 2x plus 15 and set that equal to 90 degrees. And then we can go ahead and solve for x. So what we're going to do now is we are going to combine like terms. We have a 6x here and a 2x here, which is a total of 8x and then we can combine negative 45 and positive 15 which is negative 30 and set that equal to 90 and now what we do is we take this constant and write the inverse on the other side which is positive 30 and when we add 90 and 30 that gives us 120 and over here we have 8 times x and now we do the inverse of multiplying by 8, which is to divide by 8. And that leaves us with x is equal to 120 divided by 8, which is 15. Which verifies that this is a second strategy that may be used to figure out the value of x. All right, let's go ahead and share one more strategy to find the value of x. Now, something else that I noticed about this figure here is that if you were to take this side of our square here and extend that line out and do the same thing with the opposite side, 
we should notice that we have parallel lines here. And we should notice that this diagonal here, if we were to extend that, is really a transversal. And there is a rule saying that if you have a transversal that cuts across parallel lines, it creates these different types of angles. And these different types of angles have certain properties. For example, this angle here, which is on the inside of the parallel lines, and this angle right here, which is also inside the parallel lines are called interior angles and they are on alternate sides of the transversal so these are called alternate interior angles and alternate interior angles are always going to be equal to each other now we already knew that this angle here is 45 degrees and this angle here is 45 degrees but whenever we have any type of parallel lines cut across by a transversal those alternate interior angles are going to be equal to each other. Therefore, we can take this expression, 6x minus 45, and set it equal to this expression, 2x plus 15. And then what we can do is we can take our x values, or the x terms, and move them on the left side. So let's keep this 6x over here. I'm going to take this 2x and move it to the other side. But when jumping across the equal sign, you must write that term as its inverse. So we're going to turn positive 2x into negative 2x. And then we're going to place all of our constants on the right side. Well, we already have a 15 over here, so I'm just going to leave it as a positive 15. But we're going to move this negative 45 across the equal sign, meaning we have to turn it into positive 45. All right. Now we have a situation where we have all of our constants on the right and the x terms on the left, so we can combine like terms on both sides. 6x minus 2x is 4x, and 15 and 45 is 60. And now we divide both sides by 4. So we can cancel out these 4s. That gives us 1x is equal to 60 divided by 4, which again is 15. So that gives us three different strategies to find the value of x in this problem. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.